Hi, I am Karina. Karina is the vocalist of Mindlapse. Hi, I'm the singer of Mindlapse. And I've just been watching Concert Junkies with uh, Rob and John. Uh, so guys, it's time to hit the bell. Mindlapse used to be signed to Holier Than Thou Records. They are now with Rage Breed Records. What would you take on tour? So one of the questions that was asked to me was, what would I take on tour? Well, when we did the Into the Earth UK tour in 2005 with Insomnium, there were some pretty strange things we took on tour. Um, we took a mace because we wanted to box with it. Angry people back then. Um, we also took alcohol, which is a given. Um, we took um, low dry food. Um, I'm quite into my yoga and stuff, so that probably yoga mat, to be fair. I'll probably need to do that a lot when I'm tall. What else? Um, my tarot cards, pen and paper, because I like to draw, um, pendulum. A uh, phone. You can do most things with a phone to be fair. And um, yeah, that's about it really. That's probably what I would take. Maybe a pendant which symbolises the black. Michael Cook is the guitarist of my lapse. What's up everybody, it's Michael from Mind Labs. You're watching Concert Junkies, Ron and John, and remember to hit that bell. If you don't, I'll come looking for you. We have a sandwich or something. Welcome fans, find Mind Labs material. We, uh... We also have music on Amazon and iTunes, which you can purchase there. We also have a Big Cartel site, which is ragebreed.bigcartel.com. And from there, you can uh, add our page on social media, which you should do, because it's awesome. Jimmy Mitchell is the lead guitarist of Mind Labs. Hello there, this is Jimmy Mitchell from Mind Labs. And you're watching Concert Junkies. Rob and Tom, hit the bell. Where did you all meet? I met Karina on Facebook. So who pulls that? <laughs> I met Karina on Facebook, and Mike, I actually met him about 11 years ago in Charleston, West Virginia. He was playing lead guitar for a band there called Cybergen. And um, I'm a solo artist, so we were gigging. It was cool. If you weren't playing music, what would you want to do with your life? Well, let's see here. If I wasn't playing music, what would I be doing? Um, if I wasn't playing music, I would most likely, uh, I would most likely be a cook in my own restaurant. That is what uh, I would do because I cook a lot. And it's the one thing I know I'm good at that I could make some money at. But yeah, if I wasn't playing heavy metal. I would be a heavy metal chef. <laughs> what bands would you like to perform with and what venues would you like to perform in? Alright, so, wondering what bands I would like to perform with? That's a good question. Well, the Death Couples owner, um, Obituary would be really cool. I've actually met those guys, and, uh, yeah, they're cool to hang out with. They're funny. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Carcass. Carcass would be a cool band you know, to hang out with and meet. Um, really, there's all kinds of bands. I mean, if I sat here and started listening to them, I'd be talking and talking and talking. It was a lot. <laughs> but venues. How about this? I like to play with these bands in any venue that's cool. 
It could be indoor, it could be outdoor. I've always wanted to play big, big, big festivals <clears throat> like Vaca, Hellfest, Download, Bloodstock, those types of things. But um, yeah, any venue that's just really cool, man. You know, that's the way I look at it. If uh, you know myself, and the bandmates, and also the bandmates and the other bands can all hang out together and mix after the show and have some laughs then yeah that's, that's cool you know um, and as long as the people come and have a great time that's that's all that matters you know so um, I can't really think of any one particular venue I just like playing you know, there you go what is the plan for mind drops going forward questions that was asked me as well is what are the plans for my maps uh, going forward so basically the plan is um, at the moment we're kind of uh, learning the prophecy and the haunted uh, for the new album uh, obviously we've got Mike and Jimmy on board so they're writing new material for the album as well as myself uh, we need to get a bass player and drummer in uh, so we're advertising for members, uh, we also want to keep it list of all honesty as well. Um, then on top of that we will be um, looking at recording the album and then we're looking at tour. So from now until then, uh, until we've got the lineups, we're going to be focusing on our media and uh, doing interviews. So you know, if you want to book an interview with uh, Mindlapse, uh, obviously just drop drop us an email it's um bookings underscore rage breed at hotmail.co.uk so yeah that's about it really um when it comes to our plans but the main thing we want is a seriously awesome and brutal album so watch this space